In this video, we're going to create a large LED screen on our stage and then place some lecterns and speakers. We're going to start with the LED video screen. We will use the video screen tool from the Spotlight toolset. In the Spotlight toolset, activate the video screen tool. Click on the Preferences button in the toolbar. For screen type, choose LED. Set the screen aspect to Rectangle, All Custom Dimensions. Next, set the height to 9 feet and the width to 30 feet, and then click OK. Zoom in on the stage. Move your cursor over the middle of the stage and acquire a smart point. Then move your cursor up vertically and acquire a second smart point at the midpoint of the back of the stage. Move your cursor down and snap to the midpoint between these two smart points, and set a third smart point. Next, find the midpoint between the third smart point and the first smart point we set. Then click once to set the insertion point for the video screen, and a second time to set the rotation and place the screen. Let's take a look at the video screen in 3D. Switch to a right isometric view and render an OpenGL. You can use the flyover tool if needed to rotate your view. You will notice the video screen is sitting slightly below the top of the stage. In the Object Info Palette, go ahead and set the Z height to 2 feet to match the stage height. You will also notice the video screen is slightly wider than the stage. This is because our video screen has a 4 inch border around the edges, so we will need to reduce the screen width by 8 inches to account for the 4 inch border on the left and right side of the screen. Again, in the Object Info Palette, set the width to 29 feet 4 inches. Now. Let's edit the screen image. The video screen uses a RenderWorks texture to display an image in 3D. If you do not have RenderWorks, you can skip this step. In the Object Info Palette, scroll down and click on the Edit Screen Image button. In the Edit Screen Image dialog, click on the Screen Image thumbnail. Under the default content, choose VW Logo Black 16x9. In the preview window, you'll notice that the texture is not aligned. To fix this, set the vertical shift to negative 40%. Click OK to save the changes and apply the new screen image. Now let's place some lecterns on our stage. We will use the Create Lectern command in the Event Design menu to place the lectern. Switch back to a top plan view, go to the Event Design menu, and choose Create Lectern. Click on the Choose Lectern thumbnail, choose Lectern 4. If you have RenderWorks, check the Custom Attributes option and then click on the Texture thumbnail. Choose No Texture RT from the default content. Click OK. Position your cursor over the right side of the stage in front of the video screen. Click once to set the insertion point for the lectern. Move your cursor down until the 30 degree smart cursor cue appears. Click a second time to set the rotation and place the lectern symbol. Finally, let's use the mirror tool to create a duplicate of this lectern on the left side of the stage. Make sure the lectern symbol is selected and then activate the mirror tool in the basic palette. Using the duplicate mode as we've done before, click once on the midpoint of the stage, move your cursor vertically, and click a second time to mirror and duplicate the lectern. Now select both the lecterns and choose New Class from the Class pop-up menu in the Object Info Palette. Name the class Lecterns. Next, we will place speakers on the left and right side of the stage. We will use the Speaker tool from the Spotlight toolset. Activate the Speaker tool in the Spotlight toolset. Click on the Preferences button in the toolbar. Under Type, choose Yamaha C112V. For Support, Choose Tripod, set the stand height to 4 feet, and click OK. Move your cursor between the right wall and the stage, towards the back of the stage. Click once to set the insertion point for the speaker. Move your cursor to the right horizontally, and click a second time to set the rotation and place the speaker. Now let's angle the speaker in towards the center of the room, and place a second speaker on the opposite side of the stage. In the Object Info Palette, simply set the rotation to negative 15 degrees. Using the Mirror Tool again, 
create another speaker on the other side of the stage. Finally, let's take a look at the objects in 3D. Switch to a right isometric view and render it OpenGL, and use the flyover tool again to rotate around the room. Return to a top plan view when you're finished.